looking at the fox, uh, we're just going to run through the bones really quickly without descriptions since we have that in the cat. So, nasal, frontal, maxilla, and very extended in the fox, more teeth, <laughs> premaxilla, and you can see the section of the premaxilla runs all the way up alongside the nasal, much more stretched out in the fox. Jugal, first part of the zygomatic arch. See that suture here. Uh, we said frontal, coronal suture, parietal, temporal, zygomatic process of the temporal, occipital, with occipital condyles. It's part of what attaches your head to the rest of your <laughs> body. Very small interparietal here in the fox. Tympanic bully. They're not separate bones. They're part of the temporal, but it's good to point them out. They're good landmarks. Basisphenoid. Allosphenoid. You can see that suture kind of running up around the brain case. Some may extend further than others. There's a lot of natural variation. Presphenoid. This one is more abrupt and goes down. Presphenoid containing that or, uh, optic foramen and expressing through here a little bit of presphenoid. Um, <laughs> our broken pterygoid bone, which is this whole section here. And you would have a phantom hamulus off the end. <laughs> the hamulus is not a bone, it is a projection of the pterygoid bone or process, but imagine a hook right there. Vomer, up in here. Vomer. Palatine process of the premaxilla, suture here. Palatine process of the maxilla, suture, and it, cont it still contains all of the teeth, so the suture runs around the teeth. Except incisors. Palatine process of the palatine. And the palatine bone itself, you can see down here. There we go. Lacrimal bone, right here, containing the nasal lacrimal canal. So front of the front of the eye, I think tears, lagrima, um, lacrimal bone. And then ethmoid all up in here. It's kind of like a little scoop-like bone, but what we can see of it, eh. <laughs> there we go, is the cribriform plate, which is part of the ethmoid bone. Ta-da!